Hey, I'm Jantastic. This is React Holiday, day 17. Today, we are extending our use reducer knowledge talking about actions. Now, yesterday, we introduced use reducer, and all we did was replace our use of use state. Now, use state is pretty simple because all it does is take new state and returns that on the uh, that this value here. And I told you that there was gonna be a little bit of a lie because we're not actually just taking new state. Instead, these reducers take an action, right? And the action is going to do something to the old state. And these ap actions are objects um, that will have some type of payload data. So now that I've replaced all of this, I need to actually call this set Pokemon function with an action. So here, this is gonna be action type, replace Pokemon, and the payload that we'll be using is our JSON. Now, typically, because we're not just doing one thing anymore, uh, this is gonna be dispatch. So by convention, we call this function dispatch because it's going, it's just kind of a generic term to say, hey, we're gonna dispatch this action. Now that I've changed all of that to um, use the action payload, uh, I can change this and everything still works. Now, what this allows us to do is it allows us to switch on action type. So now we can make this much more complex. So if we want to say, only do this if action dot type is replace Pokemon. Otherwise, throw a new error. Now, because we're using that replace Pokemon action, everything works, but as soon as we try to call dispatch with an action that doesn't exist, well, we just throw an error. So that is the second piece of use reducer that you need to know, actions.